Recently, there was this program for Teachers Day, and our, our DGE, Ms. Hoping, was talking about a legacy, to live a legacy and to leave a legacy. And she brought in four people. It was my teacher, my Mrs. Pulia from the secondary school, because she was more or less guiding me in sports. And uh, then I became a teacher. I followed her footsteps and became a teacher. Then later, while I was teaching in Tampere's JC, I had this student of mine was good in sports and I tried to encourage her and and she did she did running but later when she went out she went even further she went on to do triathlon I missed two other sports and she took part in major games then after that in her as she and she also became a teacher she said she used to she was very um, taken up by the way I was able to teach and, and take part in sports at a high level at the same time at the same time and therefore she also wanted to do, to do that which she succeeded and she went into teaching and in her turn she also brought up an athlete who became a SEA Games medalist for cycling. So uh, Ms. Ms. Hoping brought this uh, um, example because there was four generations. My teacher first being the first, myself second and Emily was third and Dinah the fourth. In the same way I think I was doing teaching because I, I loved the profession. I really put my heart and, heart and soul into, into teaching itself. And uh, I was able to experience all levels, primary school teaching, secondary school teaching, and the JC. And then, and even now, I'm contributing uh, after retirement uh, as a contract adjunct teacher. I'm teaching, you see, so there's, uh, it's flowing from one to another to another. And therefore, just like how Miss Hoping said, it's a generation, one generation passing on to another. So in this way, you also keep in touch with more people and keep active yourself and therefore contribute in a different way towards to, to the betterment of Singapore to the teaching profession as such.